It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Yeah, I went for it. here with a test video of M7CA027. This is a 1975 Cadillac, Seven. sorry, 1977 Cadillac Sedan DeVille with a 425 cubic inch V8. That is a lot to say, and this car is a lot to take in. This is a big old girl, beautiful canary yellow color. Uh, unfortunately, it took a pretty hard hit to the right front. As you guys can tell, these cars do not take hits well. It buckled the whole passenger side. Shockwave went all the way down to the quarter panel. The doors don't want to latch now. Very, very clean car though. The rear bumper does have some, uh, some rippling in it. We are gonna have that for sale complete. Previous owner left an awesome note here. Don't slam the trunk. It's electric, boogie, woogie, woogie. Yeah, I went for it. Never go full potato. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. I'm gonna dance. Look at these keys, even everything about this thing. Joey's Tire and Diagnostic Center. Joey, you took good care of this car. All these parts you guys see here are gonna be for sale. These filler panels are aftermarket. They've been painted. Not a great paint match, but if you step back, I mean, I. It's better than nothing, really. It, normally these things have no filler panels left and to kind of get the ghost tail light just floating there. This unfortunately is the downside though of these fiberglass fillers is the fitment is just not spectacular. Uh, we are gonna have them for sale though with these awesome tail lights. All this is OEM. Most of this car is OEM besides the filler. We did a quick once over. Gonna have all this trim for sale off of the back here. Uh, let's go ahead and fire it up here. Mason's going to help us with the go-go juice. She needs a little help in the morning. We all do. We'll try it without it first, see if she does, does fire. 98,569 miles. Okay. She didn't need any go-go juice. Um, we're not able to press the transmission. The linkage just popped off. We got it into neutral, though. Unfortunately, yet again, accessories ready to drop in i don't know i'd swap it into something if i was building a sweet rat rod that's a that's a unique motor close these doors really fast though so i can show off all the moldings on this and just disrupt mason trying to do work mason are we selling these doors complete on this side or how do we do these uh, driver's side is not complete rear is, or driver's side fronts not complete rear is okay so this left rear door is going to be complete you leave all this chrome on it yep okay chrome will get you home uh, driver's door, we're gonna be parting down. I can see it now, it's a little tweaked. Yeah, uh, she got a little bit of rust up underneath. Also got a little bit of a, something going on there. <laughs> the rest of the panel's at your feet. That's what happened, the fill, okay. That's kind of trick, GM, they were hiding the hinges. Let's step inside here and check out what's going on, get this tilt column up. Get that buzzer. Let me close the door so she hushes. All right, good enough. Um, all these parts you guys see are going to be for sale in here. The dashboard is cracked, but we're going to part this all down. Man, let me see if we can get this radio going. Maybe, maybe not. Did the radio not work, Mason? What am I doing wrong? Help me, kind sir. Uh. As he pops the knob off. 
pardon our ignorance. I, I mean, I'm in my 30s, but this is just before my time. Oh, she even had a fresh oil change with bulk 5W30. Man, this thing did not go far. Hmm. Oh, there she goes. I guess I turned the key off. That's, I feel like an idiot. Yeah. Power antenna is working though. Let's get that. Yeah, I feel like an idiot for sitting there trying to turn it on. Oh, well, what is channel 20? Dude, this CB is OEM. Yes, OEM from 77. How does this work? And the old CB. Let's go down to six, because that's what I heard a little bit of snores come through. All right, hold on. We're, we're going to do some CB stuff. All right, we, we got this from here. Brake breaker one nine. There's a rubber ducky coming through. How do we change these channels? How'd you change these channels, homie? The... Oh, there it is. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if we can get anybody on the old CB. Nothing yet. Anything? This is Rusty Nails calling a rubber ducky. Do you got a copy on that Smokey? It went quiet. Are they replying? All right, anyways, you guys saw that works. 50-50 uh, chance I might try to put that in a car of mine. This is way too much fun. Uh, mirrors are cable operated. The door glass went MIA from that side. Uh, all these switches are gonna be for sale. Let's test the old wipers out. What? Man, they just don't make cars like they used to. Headlight switch works well. Uh, power windows. Pretty quick for the 70s. Cool, that is all working. Um, tilt column is nice and tight. Steering wheel is, <sighs> oops. Yeah, somebody's wood glued this all back together or <sighs> duct tape, so. This was a dealer car. I have a feeling that somebody, I got had on it, but I think they may have made it look a little bit cleaner than it is. Otherwise, she's a really good car. These seats, great condition. We're gonna have these for sale as a seat set. Uh, nice GM vinyl pleather. Gotta do the old back seat test because they just don't make cars like this anymore. We used that adjective already. Oh man. If my kids wouldn't be super embarrassed, I would totally rock one of these. Sorry, Jake, because uh, I might actually have to get one. This is this is luxury. You got the nice roller coaster grab bar up there. Do uh, you have a cigarette lighter in the back for, I guess they didn't know smoking killed back in the 70s. Yeah, it was the hit. Uh, like I said, though, everything back here is going to be listed for sale. We're going to have these door panels, these nice quarter trims. Even the package shelf, I think we're going to get that pulled out and get that bad boy listed for sale. Step out here. All right, folks, that is going to wrap it up for M7CA027, our Cadillac Sedan DeVille with the uh, 7 liter 425 under the hood. If you guys are looking for parts off of this, uh, they're all going to be listed on our website, www.jngautoraking.com. You can give us a call at 800-425-1555. Uh, ask for Pippi or James over there in the office. Tell them John sent you. I'm John at J&J Auto Wrecking. Thanks for letting me bore you for 8 minutes and 45 seconds.